Hello friends, welcome back to Stable Automation. In this video, we will test the internal default web page and a user defined web page created using local web editor 1.0. Before we start, kindly subscribe, like and share to our channel. This really encourages us to share more videos and information. Here I have created an application to start and stop a pump using DA1 and DA2 and run a timer to check the total running duration of the pump. And the timer duration can be reset from the web page itself. I1 start command, I2 stop command, set and reset block, Q1 DO for pump, time block for counting the total running duration of the pump, V0.0 for resetting the timer and VW2 for displaying the timer value on the web page. This logic is for displaying in the logo screen. Okay, let's simulate and check the logic. Pump has started and time value is increasing. This time block can be set for displaying the minute or hour. Here for quick test we have set to the second. Now with the DA2 input, pump and the timer both are reset. And resetting the timer as well. Before we download this program to controller, this option must be enabled to display screen on default web page. And another setting enable web server access from access control setting in online settings. Note that controller must be stopped to enable these settings. Password for web access can be enabled from here. App access also can be given from here. Okay, now let's download and check. Download password. Default password is capital logo. Ok, now let's open in browser, open with IP address of the PLC. For default web page, uncheck this option. On DA1, pump 1 will show on and timer will start. Okay, now let's create a user web page. Not that I have already inserted 16 GB micro SD card formatted with FAT32 format. Select the resolution as per requirement. This can be changed later on as well. This area will be visible in web page. Here we have a limitation of drawing tools but facility for import is given. So I have created a small graphic in another SCADA and imported here as a picture. Drag and drop picture object here and change background image from here. In my graph you can upload any number of picture file. Now for pump animation, select digital object and drop on the work area. 
change the graphic object for on and off status. And select variable from animation here doq1 will change status for pump now we will display analog value for pump running duration And now button for reset. This not. This is toggle button. First click true, second click false. And address will be v0.0. Check this option. Writable. We'll also see how a new page can be added and how navigation can be added. In the second page, we will add IO status. Input 1 status for on, input 2 status for off. These are the physical input of the PLC. Phone style also can be changed from here. And navigation can be added from here. Okay, now let's transfer this page to Logos memory card. Note that PLC will be stopped during this transfer. Download complete. Now starting PLC again. You need to check this option to customize site. Once page is loaded, it don't require to refresh. You can see without page refresh, background JavaScript updates the value just like any other SCADA or HMI. Now resetting pump. 
Note that this button is like on off switch. It is not like a push button that sets and resets automatically. So this was a basic video to give you idea about how web page can be created and loaded into logo PLC. By putting some more efforts and time, you can make it much more interactive like SCADA and save plenty of money for small systems. Please like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thank you.